hello everyone welcome to another tutorial of power bi in this tutorial video we are going to explore more about the maps in power bi in the previous video we take a look at this map in which we created a map and then we dragged the different fields into the map and then try to show it with the help of these bubbles so this was a, a kind of map that is a simple map in which bubbles or circles could be used to represent the data. But there is another map in uh, Power BI and that is known as the filled map. You can see its icon in the visualization pane just beside the globe map icon that we used previously. This is known as the filled map. And the difference between these two maps is that while a normal map helps you to show the data with the help of bubbles or any kind of figure like a circle, on the other hand, the filled map fills that particular region with a color and then it tries to show that particular data. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to create first of all a filled map and then with the same data set, we are going to create a simple map and then we are going to compare both of them. So for that purpose, what I have done is uh, I have downloaded a sample data set from the internet. If you just go to Google and uh, Google this simple sample data set in Excel for map in Power BI, then this is this link present that is of superdatascience.com. Here you can see this, this first Excel sheet that is given to us for a super store in US uh, whose data set is given for the year 2015. I have downloaded this particular data set and uh, once I have downloaded, I've got this kind of an Excel sheet in which there are three sheets, orders, returns and users. And I'm going to use this orders table. So this is my sample data set. And let's see that how can we use it? The reason why I have chosen it because you can see this state or province column is present over here. So I can use all these states over here. And the country, we have got a sim country that is United States only. Okay. So let's just load this uh, data into our Power BI first of all. So we all know that to load the data, what do we need to do is we need to go to get data and we first have to make sure that which kind of data we are going to load. And since we are going to load an Excel data, so I'm going to select Excel and this is my data that is Superstore US. So let's click on open and it may take a few seconds to load your data into Power BI before the preview is generated. So here we have got the orders sheet and once we click on it, you can see a preview over here and you can just cross check that whether the column that you want most, that is the state or province column is present over here. Then you can simply click on it and click on load and this data would be loaded into your Power BI taking a few seconds of your time. Okay. So once it's loaded you would be able to see the orders in this field section so that would tell you whether this data is loaded or not okay so now we can see the orders over here which means that yes our data is now being imported into power bi successfully and uh, you can just expand it by clicking on this arrow icon and you would be able to see all the column headings that were present in your data source that you just viewed in the Excel. Now what we want to do is create a filled map out of this data. So for that, let us just create a new page by clicking on this plus icon and a fresh page is present in front of us. So to create a filled map, the process is pretty simple. All you got to do is click on this filled map icon in the visualization pane. You can just expand it as per your choice. In the location field, you want to drag this state or province column like this. And once you do that, you got to wait for a few seconds and you can see that this whole United States is actually colored with a sort of a blue color. The reason why, because uh, we have just dragged in state or province, we are not categorizing it. We are not adding any kind of value. So it is just recognizing all the states in a uniform color. But if you hover over it, you will get a tooltip with the name of that state like this. You can see Washington, you can see Arizona, you can see California, you can see Georgia and so on. All these states are visible via tooltips. Now the other thing is, suppose you want to just categorize it on the basis of something. So a simple uh, option for this is the region. 
if you just take a look at this uh, region we have got a region column which would categorize all these states into the four regions that uh, are present so if we just drag this region into this legend field then what do we get okay so we have got four colors this purple blue navy blue and uh, a shade of orange these are for the four regions as you can see in the uh, label over here that is the central east south and west so here you can categorize the different states based upon region and now if you hover over these states previously when only the states were dragged into the location you were only able to see washington but now since region has also been dragged you are able to see the region as the west region that washington presents is uh, present in the west region similarly pennsylvania is present in the east region north carolina is present in the south region and so on nebraska in the central region and so on okay so that's how actually you can work with a filled map in power bi if you just want to toggle over any of these states you can simply do that now there is one interesting thing that you must note that in the location we have got state or province as the column heading and luckily this is a valid heading because the heading must be like a state a country a city or a postal code for us or for the power bi itself to recognize that what we are going to show in the map but in case the exact heading is not present suppose in case of state or province like uh, state 25 or some other thing is present which is not valid column name then what you can do is you can make sure that power bi recognizes this column as a state or province column by simply clicking on that particular column as soon as you do that you will get this common tools tab highlighted and in this it is a data category right now it is uncategorized but it doesn't matter because power bi already recognizes it because of the column heading but in case the column heading is not correct then you can just go to this uncategorized one and you can select whether it is a city whether it is a country whether it is a state or province whether it is a, a continent a longitude latitude postal code whatever it is so that whatever you select then power bi would be able to recognize that what actually it is and then the power bi would be able to act upon it as per its category okay so uh, as soon as you have changed it to state or province you can see this kind of a globe sign present over here which means that now power bi has categorized it as a state or province okay now this was about a field map let us create a simple map with the same data and try to compare the results okay so let us create a new page and now we will click on the simple map and now what we would be doing is just dragging the state and province into location and uh, we would be dragging this region into the legend fields okay so now you can see that let's just go to the focus mode for a better view all the states of the united states are marked over here with circles like washington idaho nevada california everything is marked with a circles instead of being colored fully they are just being marked with a circle so that is a simple map that um, is used to use some kind of the symbols like bubbles or circles to represent the states or whatever region they are trying to represent while in the case of field map like the one over here if you just go into the focus mode you can see everything is represented fully in color like you can see every state that is colored fully so that is the difference between the like uh, field map and a normal map another difference is that in a normal map you have got another field that is of a size so if you just go to uh, some kind of a quantity a numerical value like say order id then what happens is you can just get this order id into size so these bubbles would differ in size based upon the order id and we would get a count of order id like in texas we have got 124 order ids means uh, 124 of total orders were placed in texas in california we have got a bigger bubble because 214 orders were placed so this is an added advantage of a simple map that you would be able to just see any kind of a numerical quantity in a better way represented through a normal map instead of a field map okay so that is the basic difference if you want some kind of a numerical value to be represented you can just go with a normal map 
now uh, there is one more thing there is this postal code if you can just check it what happens let's see uh, we are going to just drag this postal code into the location instead of the state now what happens is uh, we got to just wait for a few seconds yes so now you can see that it has got bobbled up all over the place why because postal code is not recognized as a standard quantity you can just go to postal code and see it is uncategorized so let's just categorize it into a postal code and this may take a few seconds okay now the postal code is uh, although recognized as a valid quantity but still you can see it's scattered all over the place so thus we can make sure from this fact that the name is a better way to categorize our data than the postal code because we are pretty sure that all of this data is for the united states of america as the um, data set is for the superstore based in us and it's not going to deliver in some place of africa europe or australia or somewhere here so that's how it works um, thus to categorize them uh, if states and postal code both are present it is recommended to use a state to categorize the location instead of postal code so that's all for this video in power bi and thanks for watching